Hello, welcome back to George's Gaming Guys. Today, me and Dad are going to be building the Floating Mountains Site 26 and RDA Samson. Um, the set number is 75573, and this is made out of 887 pieces. So, I'm now going to pass you across to Dad to go over the minifigures. Yes, yeah, so this set comes with five minifigures. Um, it's actually the first time I've ever seen a wheelchair in one of the sets we own as well. So, that's going to be quite interesting. So we have Jake Sully in his human form, which is why the wheelchair is in the set. Um, you have Grace Augustine. Doctor. Dr. Grace Augustine, sorry. Um, in this as well, you have uh, Trudy Shekhan, who's the RDA Samson pilot. Uh, you have Jake Sully in Avatar form, and you also have Norman Spellman in Avatar form. So you get a nice array of characters in this. It's like Jake and, well, Norm is, unique to this set. Jake is unique in terms of his the printing slightly different. Although he, I think he's in three of three of the sets in total. Mm, yeah. Um but yeah I think this looks really nice. You do actually get a dire horse as well. There's the one he's in is the one I built because that's the Thanator Yeah Thanator. Uh coach suit or MP coach suit or something. Yeah. So, so we get a dire horse as well so that's the second one that we've had in these sets. And I'll pass you across to George so we can talk about the uh, the non-minifigures in this set. Um, so the Site 26 itself, so the lab, I guess you can call it, whatever you really want to call it, it is measured over 6 inches or 16 centimetres high and 8 inches or 20 centimetres wide. Um, but yeah, overall I think this is going to be really nice. I think the colour contrast is really good how they've done it as like the little bit of mountain area and the creature is really nice and colourful but the man-made stuff is really dull and they've definitely got that with the uh, avatars as well so it's showing compared to the human stuff it's very dull which is how it was on Pandora and that's very nice to see that just come across so if dad will just flip the box around we can have a look at back as I just know it's got the, the RDA Samson in this as well so it's nice to have the, the helicopters, isn't they're really cool in the, in the film. Why did you just say you've just noticed? <laughs> That's yeah. the name of the set. I didn't say just noticed. <laughs> um, so it looks like you can have uh, Jake Sully in Avatar form on the Dire Horse. You can have Jake Sully in what looks to be a Lego fridge, <laughs> which obviously it isn't, but it looks like it. It's um, where he goes to transfer into Avatar form. And you've got Dr. Uh, what is it, uh, Grace, Grace. Um, Augustine, she's at her desk, it, so you can open the top of the um, like lab area, site 26, uh, to have a look on the inside, and then you can also take on and off the RDA Samson. Um, yeah, so overall I think this is going to be really nice, so without further ado, let's get through some into building.
are back and this is the official model and overall I do think it looks really really nice. So I'm going to go over my portion of the model first and I'll hand you over to dad. So first I'm going to start off with my minifigures. So we have Norm Spellman in avatar form obviously. Long spear, obviously the hair that you can attach to the dire horse. The blue tail, then you have like uh, brownish trousers with a dark brown top brown strap going across with like a beigey kind of um, like overtop kind of thing and then that strap goes the whole way round um, and then obviously you have the uh, blue face and arms and hands. Now we have Trudy Chacon with the again quite long hair but obviously doesn't attach to the dire horse so she has two faces so she has the one with the paint with her controls on or she's just smiling um, which the paint from the controls is obviously in the main battle. Then you have the green trousers with the white top and then the uh, greyish belt and then what looks to be some jewellery as well. Um, and yeah, so if I'm now going to get onto my main bit of the model. So if we have a look at it, it is really, really nice. So we have obviously the four sets of rotor blades that are on the model. I do believe that this, yeah, it does move so you can um, have it at whatever angle you want which is quite nice. The end of it does move. Then there are some stud shooters on either side as well as by the looks of it, some stickers on the model which are some along the top. Then you have the tiger one along this side and along that side. Um, at the bottom we have some of the uh, native plant life so it's uh, again some of these white bits which are glow in the dark which we have shown you in some of our previous avatar videos um, and yeah so I think that is uh, my part of the model for now and obviously yeah, it can come off um, and yeah so I'm going to hand you over to dad to go over the main site 26 right so on this side so we're looking at the the capsule that they use for the transport into the, the floating mountains. The minifigures on this are actually quite nice. So you do get a die horse, so we've seen this in one of the previous sets. Um, the main of the die horse does actually attach to this block here, and the block is removable if you want to put the avatar in, so it's actually quite a deep section you take out, and then you'd uh, fit the main onto the, onto the hairpiece. But I think these, I say it's not the first set we've seen this in, but I think it's it's a really nice design with the, the six legs. Then we come on to Dr. Grace Augustine. Um, this is quite a nice figure. So you've got one side with a mask on, one without. So she can actually breathe in the Pandora atmosphere. Um, she's got like a, a blue top on over a white blouse and necklace and brown trousers. One disappointment is that you don't get an avatar version of, of Grace um, because of what happened in the first film. I don't, yeah, unless something strange happens, she won't be in any of the new avatar films. So it was really the only opportunity to be able to do Grace in that form. So it's, it's a bit of a shame, but the minifigure for her herself is actually really nice. Then we have Jake Sully in the avatar form. Um, very similar to the, the other ones that we had of him. He's got slightly different paint on his face this time. He's got the, the war paint on. Um, and then a strap round says so he's supposed to be during the final battle. Not sure why they give him a bow, because he doesn't actually use a bow. Um, would have been better if they'd given him the knife, like... Um, um, I can't think of his name now. The, the leader of the... It's all the army for the Pandorans. Um, because he has, has that big knife and he uses that in the scene against the colonel. So it would have been nice to have seen that. But again, very nice minifigure. And then we have Jake in his human form. So you've got two faces to him again. You've got one with a mask on and one without. Um, so it turns out with a mask on because it tends to be outside more than anything. Um, the wheelchair is quite nice. It's actually the first wheelchair I think we've, we've got to any sense. Yeah. And it is quite a nice design. Um, Quite simple, do like the wheels on it. I've not seen those sort of wheels before. So that's that's pretty good. So it is actually designed to have him inside the capsule, which is why you have both. So you can have him inside while his, his avatar's fighting. 
Um, so coming on to the capsule itself, I think it's, it's from the outside, it's, it's really aesthetically pleasing. Um, some nice details on it. I do like the dampeners that it sits on. Um, you have a small ramp, which is pretty tight for his wheelchair. Can't get past the dampener, so that's a bit of a, bit of a shame. But overall, the design is really nice. So you do have a door, so you can actually take the figures in and out. But um, the main feature on this, this one is you actually, on the back of it, you can remove the whole top section. So inside there's actually a couple of stickers. So here it's supposed to be the picture of Jake while he's actually in the capsule itself. Um, you've got another piece of equipment here that's monitoring all his vital statistics and everything. You have a printed tile which has got some controls on, which I believe you see in lots of Star Wars sets as well. And they have a sort of a fridge um, for him to lie in. So it's, it's very basic, um, but it does the job. Um, would have been nice to have had it solid at the bottom because you can actually see all gaps down underneath because of the pieces of used below. But overall, it's I think it works quite well, and the fact you have really good access to it through the roof, I think, is uh, is really good. Um, I would honestly probably pair this with the the one with the mech suit. Mm -hmm. Can't think of the the proper name of the suit now. Um, the AMP suit. Oh yeah, that's right, the AMP suit. Because um, I think that's playing this, this scene out would be quite good to have Jake inside the capsule and then the other Jake fighting uh, the Colonel in the AMP suit. You get the Thanator and, uh, and you the get, Terry, yeah. innit? So I think that, that would actually make quite a nice scene on its own to have those two sets together. That's probably why they got them both out at the same time. Yeah. Because this, for me, I mean, unless you're doing the bit where it's transporting it, this doesn't really go with the the capsule itself, especially having all the war paint on you. Yeah, it's, it's, that wasn't the, that part of the film, but it is nice to have this in the set. Um, I think as a a set of four avatar sets or range of four avatar sets, it's nice to have this included. It's uh, for me, it's an integral part of the of the film. Um, so, any other thoughts? Uh, not really, it was just a uh, really nice to build, pretty easy as well, um, so it wasn't uh, like to struggle to get any of the bits together for mm. me at least. You'll probably notice that we reviewed opposite bits of the sets that we built. That is because we just wanted to get more of an idea while we were yeah. doing the review of what um, our other, what the other person built really. Yeah, um, so, so just one final sort of thing to say about the build actually. It comes in three books. So you'll notice for a change, we actually were doing different builds at the same time. Um, I quite like the way that Lego seems to be doing that now to split mm -hmm. things up into the different books. So there was a book for the just the, the background that the, the Samsung fits onto, a book for the, the Samsung copter, and then a book for the, the capsule. Well, there's two books for the capsule. I'm sure there's two books for the capsule. Um, I'm sure there was only three, but I could be wrong. Yeah, there was only three. Because there was one for those two together. There yeah, there was. But, uh, but overall, yeah, great little set. And a great part of the, the Avatar collection. Um, yeah, so I think that's probably where we're going to be ending the video for today. So we really hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you next time. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure that you like, subscribe, and of course you thought about it. And also make sure you watch out for this Wednesday's video, which is going to see my build and review on the Infinity Saga Black Panther Dragonflyer.